So, why write? Uh, why does anyone want to write? It's not a, by any means a majority compulsion. Uh, when I was at school, most of the boys dreaded the thought of having to write an essay or a composition, and they would come to me for suggestions. Huh? Um, so it's really, I think, a, a particular kind of person uh, who wants to write, someone with a creative bent, who wants to express himself in words and language, and um, also the influences that surround you when you're very young. You see, books might come your way at an early age, and you become a reader. On the other hand, books might not come to you at all, and it and you could only become, and you might never become a reader, or you or just a very casual one, a newspaper reader, maybe, or or a, someone who has to just read reports or. Hmm? Um, but a reader who loves good writing is somebody who will be become a writer, or very likely will become a writer. Nowadays, I keep getting letters from young, young people uh, in and out of school. Uh, they can be sc school children, they might be college students, they might be older people who, who even send me their stories, their poems. So I'm, I'm aware of a growing number of intelligent people who want to write. Hmm? and express themselves in words and language. And express them not just in casual everyday language, uh, but in good language. They want to be fluent in their writing because they want to just, they want to go a little beyond letter writing or report writing. So they, some would want to write novels, short stories. Some might uh, want to write memoirs, maybe older people. And um, so there are so many avenues into which your uh, creative energy can go. And, um, but I've always said that it's a very important uh, to have a good foundation in the language in which you're going to write. Hmm? So I think if you were to ask any well-known established writer, um, about his or her youth uh, and what inspired them to become writers, they will tell you that their inspiration came from other writers, from great writers, from the books they read, because that's what in a way sets you off. Well, you want to emulate them, not write exactly like them, but you want to be as, as well um, thought of are as well read as they are. So how do we begin? Uh, very often we begin with a diary. Uh, so many of you keep diaries and why not? Hmm? Uh, you put down your daily thoughts, observations, uh, the life around you, you describe, um, and gradually you get it, the process of writing becomes easier. So this is very helpful to you, keeping a diary. But if it's very personal, don't leave it lying around. I got into trouble twice. At school, I kept a diary. And I made some remarks about one of my teachers, which fell into his hands. And I was punished. And my diary was torn up and thrown in a waste paper basket. So don't, <laughs> don't write about your teachers huh, when you're keeping a diary at school. Or if you're older and... Um, you do anything indiscreet, don't put it down. <laughs> so keep a diary by all means, keep a notebook, all these things help. Huh? And, uh, but the urge to write, we're coming back to the question why write, hmm, is because you want to give something of yourself. Uh, in a way, you want to capture something of yourself, your thoughts, your feelings, um, what you Think of the world around you, what you think of your friends. If you're in love with someone, you want to somehow 
capture that feeling. And that's what writing is all about, you know, capturing the essence of the moment. So that's, well, how one begins. But um, there are many ways of writing a story, of writing a novel, of writing a memoir, of, of different kinds of, of writing. And we'll discuss all that as we go along.